I'm Gabriel Farrell. I work at Drexel University. And uh, I'm Mark Marienzo. I work at the American Institute of Physics. Um, we've been working on something called, um, well, I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it, it's known by a variety of names. Which side of these has Firefox on? So this is the talk titled Kobold Chieftain. Um, this is for Ross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and uh, this is Kobold Chieftain, um, alternately known as Fatback Opac, or Helios, or uh, do we have any other names for it? Um, that thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, open source and Deca. That's where it started. Uh, two last year, two years ago, last just last year. Open Source and DECA in 250 Lines or Less by Casey Durfee, presented earlier today. Um, it was used by Dan Scott as a replacement uh, backup, faceted backup OPAC, hence FAC back OPAC at uh, Laurentian. Um, it's also been used by Mike Eby at uh, um, Paul Smith's College, where it's in production right now. Um, it's uh, pretty much what Bess just talked about and um, what Andrew and Chris have talked about with Viewfind. Um, this is doing the same thing um, with Solar on the back end and Django on the front end. So anyone who likes working in Python and uh, wants to try out Django or likes Django and uh, is interested in helping us out, um, we're a little bit, um, we're not as far as they are. Um, but we have a um, major roadmap. Uh, we want to focus on the discovery layer, or I want to focus on the discovery layer. Other people are focusing on their parts. Um, uh, I'd like to uh, <coughs> be able to search not just our catalog, but our DSpace, et cetera, using Solar on the back end. Um, we're also talking about something similar to CSS and Garden. Um, this was an idea that Dan Chudnoff had. Um, we call maybe CSS and OPAC or something like that, um, where we just have an example site that has uh, an OPAC that gets styled a whole bunch of different ways depending on the CSS. So we're working on simplifying the HTML, making it really easy to style so that people can do all kinds of different stylings. Um, we have uh, this page, which I've been pointing at for a while. Um, uh, we have a track instance. Um, all these links are at my site at Fructus, but uh, um, you can also go to the Google Code site. There's our track. Um, and, um, oh, oh yeah, and then uh, this is the testing site that, I'm, that I've got it on at, um, uh, <coughs> at Drexel University. This is just our um, DVDs and uh, and such, so it's only like, I don't know, a few thousand records, and uh, it's pretty uh, ugly right now, but we're gonna be going production once we clean it up and make it prettier. Um, and uh, I wanted to answer um, why it's called Kobold Chieftain. I think it originated um, with something this man said. <laughs> um, that was um, that was in the in the chat room, um, but later on we found this picture, which I think really um, sums it up. Um, that that's a kobold chieftain, apparently. Um, and uh, also, um, I think Mark, could you explain why it's why it's solar based? Or? Yeah, it, it's solar based, um, just basically for this reason alone, and that, that's this image, and uh, this says it all. Yeah. So. Any questions in the 19 seconds? Oh yeah, we've been uh, updating the indexer to use PyMark too. That's the, the other thing. Oh yeah, and we're working on PyMark as well, yeah. Okay, thanks.